Hey everyone, I am Madan Mohan. Welcome to my free JavaScript video series. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon in order to notify about the new videos I am going to post it on the series. Today, I am going to show you how to write your first program using JavaScript. Before we see that, first we need to know what are the tools which are required to get started with writing programming. First tool is code editor where you can actually write and edit your program. In order to write this, there are plenty of code editors out there in the market, starting with Notepad++, Visual Code Studio like this. But if you are a fresher and getting started with programming, then try to make use of Notepad++. Just because if you are using Notepad++, you should suppose to write each and every line manually. As you are writing the programming manually, it will be easy for you to remember the syntax of the program. So try to use Notepad++ if you are a beginner. Now the second one is browser. In order to check the output of the program that you have written, we need browser. What of the browser that you are comfortable, you can use it. But the recommended is Chrome. Alright, so if you have a code editor and browser, then you can get started with writing your first program. Now let me show you how to write your first program in JavaScript. Now you can see HTML programming here. If you have a bit of knowledge about HTML, you can easily understand this. HTML starting tag, end tag, head section and body section. Inside the head section, there is a title. This is going to be the base title and inside the body, there will be a heading tag. Now let's see the output of this file. Let me save it first and click on run, launch in Chrome. See this, welcome is something that I have written in the H1. That's why you see H1 in the output. Now this is the title, my first program. Just because I have written this my first program in the title, that's why it is displaying. Now, in order to write JavaScript program in an HTML document, there are two ways to do it. The first way is directly writing JS program in a HTML document. Let me show you. Just because you are writing JavaScript inside the HTML document, we make use of the script tag so that browser easily understands the script. Script and script closing and in between, you need to write the script that you want to write. Now I want to log a message in the console. For that, console.log double quotes. Now, you need to remember this. Whenever you have written a statement in JavaScript, it should terminate with semicolon. Now, inside this console.log, I want to log a message. So you need to write that message in between the quotes. This is a message that I want to log on the console. So before we check the output, first you need to save. After saving this, let's run it again. You see the same output just because you are logging the information in the console. You need to check it in the console for that. Just right click, click on inspect, then developer console will open up inside which you will have a console tab, click on it. So this is where you can check the information that you log using the script. This is one way of writing JavaScript code inside a HTML document. Now the other way is instead of writing JS code directly onto the HTML document, we can simply create a separate file for JS with .js extension. Now just because it's an HTML document, you see this one has saved on the name of index.html as an extension. Why? Because it's an HTML document. Now we are going to create a separate document for script that ends with .js extension. Let me create a new one here. Double click so that a new one will open up and let me write the same JS code on this file. Just because it's a JS file, script tags are not required here. You can directly write JS code. Let's save it. Provide the name and it should end with .js and save. Now, after creating a separate file, you need to integrate this JS file in the HTML document. How to do that? 
let's go to the HTML document. So here inside the head section, we'll do integrations. Whenever you want to integrate something to your website, generally we'll make use of this head section. Let's integrate this main.js in head section. Type script src src indicate source as we are going to integrate the other file inside this file you should suppose to give the path of the js file that you are going to integrate here close this and close the script tag now here you should suppose to give the path of this main.js that you have created just because these two are on the same folder or on the same location these two are saved in desktop so you can simply provide name of this js file that is main.js and save that's it now before we check the output let me change this message so that you understand the difference and save this let me run this again let's right click inspect check the console now see this these are all the two ways in order to write javascript programming on a web page now out of these two which one is best you should always try to create external js file and integrate that js file on a html document that is the best way to go with. Don't write JS program directly into an HTML document. Reason for this is, if you have a separate file for writing JS, wherever you want that particular JavaScript code to be run, you can directly integrate this JS file on any other HTML document that you have on your website. And also, if you have written more JavaScript inside the HTML document, that might hamper your website speed as well. Make sure you have a separate external files in order to write JavaScript.